Hey you guys, a lot of you may not know, but we actually specialize in helping those people that are going through divorces. And I feel like this is such an important thing for people to understand that they need to talk to a lender at the same time that they're starting their divorce or even prior to it, because there are so many things that can happen through those divorce proceedings that could either cause you problems later in qualifying for a home. So we're gonna talk about just a few of them. So let's say for instance, you are getting divorced and you, you want to sign over the deed to your ex or your future ex. Just by signing that deed does not make you less liable on that loan, because if you were on that loan, you were on that loan. So that's why we generally try to advise people, let's get this house out of your name if it's going to the ex. There's also things that we need in the divorce decree in order to be able to count your child support or your alimony and those sorts of things. One thing I would tell you is if you are receiving alimony or child support and you want to use it towards qualifying, don't ever accept cash from your ex. It has to be a verifiable source. So we need checks, we need wire transfers. We have to be able to prove it in order to count it and it has to be consistent. So if you have anybody that's in this scenario or thinking about it, have them call us, we'll keep everything quiet. We just need to make sure that they know what their options are so that they can continue on with their life post-divorce. Okay, let me know if you have any questions and have an awesome day.